Hi Pisces, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and for those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Weekly Messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you for the upcoming week. It is going to be a general reading. If you're after a personal one, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Otherwise, let's go ahead and take a look at the messages and the energies for you, Pisces. Bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Wands, Pisces. Okay. You've got the number nine, which has come up twice for you. And for some, that might be, um, the number itself might be of significance. I'm also seeing, Pisces, that you potentially could be lying to yourself. Whether you know it or not. There's some sort of, with the Seven of Swords, there is, and with the High Priestess, with the Seven of Swords wedged in between the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups, there's an energy that feels like you're not necessarily being truthful about something, okay? Um, there's a truth that might be buried deep inside of you, um, and, you know, you might be... You might not be aware that you're lying to yourself. You might be aware that you might not be aware. Okay, so this might be completely unintentional and unknowingly, but I feel like this is coming deep from a deep place, deep within your subconscious. So there's a situation here that you're afraid to confront. Okay, you're because it's not comfortable. It's very uncomfortable for you. It's very painful for you confronting this situation and admitting the truth to yourself, the truth of your feelings for this person, the truth that they, you know, they've hurt you or they've lied to you. Um, the truth, whatever the truth is, you've been trying to embellish it. You've been trying to fabricate it. I think you've been trying to ignore it. You, and any intuitive associations that you've been getting around this specific person, around this specific situation, I feel like you've been trying to cast it aside. And you've been trying to tell yourself a lie. Like it's not, you know, like it's not a big of a deal. Or, you know, this person doesn't hold power over you anymore. Or this person, you know, isn't able to hurt you anymore. Um, and that's a lie because on some level, this person is still getting under your skin or the situation still gets under your skin. On some level, there is so many, I feel like there's so many buried emotions of varied emotions of hurt, of anger, of embarrassment, of rejection that you've never really dealt with. And here's the thing. The reason why I think you're lying to yourself is if you were to admit the truth, you have to confront all of those feelings that are buried deep down inside of you. And because of the subconscious and the queen of cups, see the cups rules the emotional realm, right? So you've come up as a queen of cups, the eight of cups, the nine of cups as well. In fact, you've got seven, eight, nine three consecutive numbers and the number nine that has shown up twice something big is taking place in your energy okay and has been for quite some time but you've been standing in your own way pisces you've been standing in your own way here and that's because there is something here that there's something here that i feel like is really buried some emotions that are buried in your subconscious that have been as of lately, I feel like they've been rising to the surface. And you might not be aware, but there's 
some of these emotions are unconscious and you've been unconsciously reacting to a certain situation unconsciously reacting to a certain uh, person it's and it's unveiling okay so sometimes you might snap at someone in frustration or sometimes you might you know pull away and act distance it's unveiling the all these different layers of emotions that you're feeling the anger the frustration um the desire here so I think really draw your attention to what it is, to the truth, okay? The lies that you have been telling yourself, because those lies ultimately are covering up a truth, a very big truth, and it's this very truth that you need to confront. In confronting that truth, yes, you're going to you're going to bring back all sorts of emotions, okay? And some of these emotions are not pleasant, you know, which makes sense because you're trying to avoid these feelings. But you can't avoid it anymore. You're a very strong, powerful wave. Um, and a very strong, powerful wave. You're strong enough for, you know, for people to surf you, so to speak. And you can take... And you can become strong again. But I feel like you really need to... You really need to take a few deep breaths. And you really need to confront your own truth. And confront your own emotions here. Okay, so it is this protective mechanism, okay, by not talking about that thing, by not talking to that person, by, you know, um, by not bringing it up, you know, it's, you're consciously avoiding it. But what I'm seeing, there's something that feels very much related to an emotion buried deep inside of your subconscious that is getting in the way of so many things. And it's... It's also, I feel like, as I've mentioned, there's something big that's taking place in your energy. And I think this uh, this shift, I feel like for this shift to really take over and to really take place, you have to go, you have to dig deep. You have to dig deep here. So it's these repressed, you have to dig deep and find these repressed emotions and you have to deal with them You because you've been suppressing them for so long and you've purposely avoided them because you don't know how to deal with it or because you've tried dealing with it in the past and you know it's uncomfortable and it's painful so what you've done is you've decided to lie to yourself because you know lying to yourself meant you didn't have to feel those emotions you didn't have to confront the truth so you decided to suppress them you decided to push them aside um you know suppression is something that works short term it is never something that works long term and i guess suppression only works if you you know if you're of the mindset that you are going to address those emotions sooner rather than later so for you, it's finally time to walk away from this thing because it is, it's, it's, it's got power over you. Whatever this is, this is holding power over you. And it's the very thing that's stopping you transforming. It's the very thing that's stopping you taking the next step on your journey, you know, moving into a new direction, starting a new chapter. Those repressed emotions, they don't get a chance to be processed. So, and, and it doesn't mean that they disappear because they haven't. They've been buried in deep in your subconscious. So they've been showing up as physical symptoms as physical pain as emotional pain as mental pain and now it's and it's also showing up in your energy as a misalignment okay so you know that you're a little off center you know that there's something going on within you so it's time to and it relates could relate to some sort of childhood experience could relate to you know earlier experiences you're pretty uncomfortable expressing those emotions okay however you i see that you're a little out of touch or you feel disconnected from those emotions. And I get it because those emotions lead, like those feelings are, you know, they include anger, sadness, frustration, disappointment, fear. However, it's, it's manifesting itself. It's manifesting itself into you telling lies it's manifesting itself into you into emotional repression into into physical or emotional pain so and it's also you know making you misaligned it's also um 
preventing you from coming into alignment. It's preventing you from, you know, centering yourself. So, and some of you have been getting a lot of fatigue and sleep problems lately. I can see that. Appetite changes are the other thing. Maybe your appetite has significantly increased or your appetite has significantly reduced. I think there are people around you that I've noticed too because it's showing up. Your emotional repression is showing up in your behavior as well. You're having trouble naming whatever this is and understanding this person or understanding this experience. But it's time that this is now being addressed, Pisces. All right, and these are your messages. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing or subscribing to this channel. Um, for those of you after personal reading, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, bye for now.